All right, this is part two for our wiser trip. We're going to go to Wilburton Mountain and go to that end. So let's have fun. Okay, on the way to Wilburton Mountain, we're still on the Mount Carmel Highway. And you know what? You know, look at all these rocks that JNS owns. JNS Landscaping, you need rocks. Hook them up, and they have all kinds of rocks for you guys. I just love rocks. It's, big, it's like a little boulder field. But another reason why I stopped over on the side here, I found another beautiful view. When I see a mountain view, I have to stop and look at it. No matter where I'm at, I just got to stop and look at the views. Yes. Isn't that just beautiful? Wow. We definitely live in a cool region. <laughs> it's a beautiful day today. The sun's out, as you can see. No fog, no mist. We're going to see lots of cool views and can't wait for the adventure. The goal is we cannot run out of battery or I'll have to call Vincent. He'll have to pick me up. But let's have a good time. Okay, I was driving on Wilburton Mountain. I never noticed this when I'm in a vehicle, but I noticed it on the bike. I made a right over here. Look at the view. Let me turn the camera. Look at this, guys. They say to watch for explosives, so when they go too deep in, we don't know what they're doing out there. Must be like a coal mine place. But I wanted to show you this beautiful view up on the beginning of Wilburton Mountain. I didn't even get halfway point. <laughs> I had to show you this view. Oh my goodness, isn't it beautiful? We live in this area and there's a lot of things we take advantage of that we take for granted. So much to see, look out, appreciate. It's beautiful. Gotta appreciate little things like this. Gotta love nature. Now this is what makes me happy. Well, number one is God, of course, but this is what makes me happy is nature. Being by myself, enjoying nature. And with Ben's, but he had work again tonight. So there you go. Here I met a nice guy. He stopped by and I thought I was going to get in trouble because I'm kind of trespassing, but he didn't get mad at me. He told me there's another good spot down at the windmill mountain I guess by Shenandoah. So another day maybe we'll have a part three and we'll ride the bike out that way and see what we find but that'll be in the future. But right now we're going to move on and see what else we can find on the way to the Wiser Forest because I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of stops. Okay, we made it. Well, I don't know if I got that butterfly. Isn't that butterfly beautiful? Anyways, here's the lake. The first lake where you can go kayaking and boating. This is where I take my kayak to. You guys are pretty familiar with this lake. So I went from Coltmont to here and we're gonna go down that trail just so you guys can see that middle lake. It's supposed to be bigger than this lake and it's a lot better than that other lake at the other end. Have a good one. Yep, you too. Look at this. I just love it. This was one of the best bike rides I've ever done. I just enjoyed that bike ride. And then bike riding home is going to be beautiful because I'll be on the other side of the road to see more stuff. I never see animals. I, I saw a couple dead animals on the side of the road. That was kind of sad. It was hard, you know biking around them without getting into the road. <laughs> There's only a couple of road kills. Oh, look at the butterfly. Let's see if I can get it. Where's it at? Let's see if I can get it. Time to start the trail and see how far out we can go before we end up with that construction that we saw yesterday.
Years ago, me and Mark went backpacking over here, and we went up this trail here, and it'll take you right to Strong. That's where we ended up at. Found another footbridge trail. So I'm wondering, this trail here will take you out to the footbridge we did yesterday. Unless they have two different footbridge trails. I don't know. That's weird. So we could have came over here on this side yesterday if I knew about that. If it's the same trail. Wow. I don't know. Weird. Oh look, a truck coming by. Maybe we... So I guess he's going to construction. Getting close to that stupid construction work again. Bridge out 2.5 miles ahead. So we're close to the other side. The good news is I got you guys to the second lake. So you'll get to see what it looks like before we run into that construction again. Okay, this is the lake I was talking about. That you go, it's like right in the middle of the bike trail, hiking trail thing. They got plenty of picnic tables boat launch. This is the real nice lake. I'm going to bring my kayak here one of these days. I'll be able to do it because it's about maybe two, two and a half miles from that other lake and I should be able to do 2.5 miles with my kayak to carry it out here. So that's not too bad. I should be able to handle it. It should take me about 20 minutes to walk it up, maybe. But this lake is a lot nicer. More room. Just saw a pretty flower down there. There it is. I never see any fish in there, though. They say there's lots of fish in there. I don't know. I never see fish. But people say they catch them. So down here, on the other side of this beautiful lake that I wanted to show you guys. You can go under the bridge. It's shallow so and a kayak should have no issues. I'll take you down here. So I did all this pedaling just so you guys can see this lake. There's no way you can get to this lake from vehicle. You have to walk down, bike down, see this part of the lake. Every fall they have this road open for other vehicles. Hopefully they'll have that fixed so you'll be able to do it. They have it, I guess, one one weekend they do it, I guess. You could drive down this road. But I am going to bike down to the, see how far out that construction is. Called the lady this morning, or yesterday I called her and she said it should be done by the end of the month. Oh, you're not allowed to swim here. But you could bring your kayak. Fishing permitted, catch and release only. So you can fish, but you can't keep your food. You gotta throw it back in. Bring it down here. Yeah, I like this lake a lot better. I gotta bring my kayak down to this lake. And it goes all the way out. So that's nice. It seems like they have better hiking trails down this way, too. Very nice here. Had a good time bike riding today. It was fun. Got more to do. You can hear the cars down there doing what they do best fixing the roads up. Let's get to see this side of the lake. I like this bridge, it's really nice. It's a nice bridge. Let's see if we can see how far out this lake really goes. Get you to an angle. Let's 
take those out pretty far. So we get close of her. Goes all the way out. And that is the one in the middle. And then down here they have a picnic table. This is nice. We can have your princess would love this. We have to bring princess out here. We'll have to go walking with the dog and we can have a little picnic here. Yeah, maybe I can get like a, a boat trailer for that. And just hook the kayak in back of the... Oh, look over here, guys. This is really nice. Let me show you the... They have over here for you. Great for fishing. They have lots of places to hang out with your family. You want to have fishing and a picnic. Do some hiking, rest. They should have like a couple campgrounds out of here. For people like going to Canovas or something, they can hang out. You are allowed to camp at backpacking up the mountain, but it's not as nice as Willsboro. Hmm. They've got hiking trails everywhere that you could take, or that you could hike around the lake. Maybe we'll do a park and we'll just do a hike. This. It's a good fishing spot for you. Shade. It's peaceful. Oh look, I see there's mountains in the background over here. Let's see. Okay, you guys get to see the lake in the middle. The middle lake. The water's really clean, too. Let's go check this hike. I think the bike should be safe there. Let's go check out this biking trail. I don't want to go out too far. This is cool. See, there's different spots you can sit and fish. That I don't like. People need to get rid of their garbage. I don't like that. It's very pretty here. Look at that. Different spots you can just fish around the lake. You get your own private spot. I'm thinking you could probably hike around this lake. That's what I'm thinking. With this trail. That would be cool to do with the boat. Lots of butterflies here too. Swallowtails and all kinds of butterflies. Monarchs. Go up this way again. There you go. Now we'll move on. I'm on this side. We are on Columbia County. All right. Now, when I stand on this side, we're in Northumberland County. So when I pass this sign going that way, we're in Northumberland County. When I come back to the 42 side, I'm going into Columbia County. Okay, towards the end of the lake, I didn't know that they had places to put people's boats. Oh my goodness, and that's how they get to this lake. If they didn't feel like lugging their boat to this lake. Oh wow. Pretty cool. They even have a storage type thing going on over there. This lake is really, really nice. I really like this lake. But here I've been riding the bike and we're still where this middle lake is. That's how big this lake is. So I'll bring it down here. It's another look, one of the main boat launches. 
but now we're towards the end as you can see how beautiful it is and it's not crowded sometimes the other lake gets pretty crowded All the information that they have on, like all the other state forests. So this here is the C.O. McWilliams Picnic Area. Picnic Area, Borough of Miserbad Forestry. I wonder what they use this building for. I remember seeing this when we did the drive through the one year. This middle lake is the best lake. I definitely got to bring my kayak to this lake in the worst way. I'm going to have to bring it here. Let's see what else we can find here. Another view for you of that lake. And there's bathrooms. Yay! That's how big that lake is. It's huge. We were all the way down there. Got to this end of the lake. What's down there? I'm always curious. Let's go find out. I think the truck's there and that we're getting close to the construction work, so we're going to turn around. And we're going to head back down that way again. If I see anything cool, I'll show you pictures of it. So now we're going to head out and then head towards home. Well, I'm back home from the Wilberton Mountain to the watershed trail on 42 back. I got worried because I... Uh, I had a full battery. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare, but I got one little bar left. <laughs> I was getting worried there because I thought I was going to hand pedal it. I noticed going on the mountains, it kills the battery. It don't last as long as straight road, but it did make me 
get to where I needed to go. So it was a good thing I didn't do both of them in one day. I would have been stuck. So if I go any further, I'll have to take the extra battery with me. So that battery lasted all the way to Aristus watershed, down the trails, all the way past the second lake, and all the way back home. So the batteries on these bikes are really good. They do last a while good except they're starting to squeak a little bit so I have to fix my brakes I think I overused them going downhill good thing I have brakes <laughs> so I highly recommend these bikes it gets you where you want to go good for going up hills and okay going down hills going down hills a little nerve-wracking but because you got to watch with the loose rocks but that's why I like these fat wheels, because with loose rocks, they have better grip. So fat wheel bikes, I highly recommend. They have better um, grip going down gravel and stuff. And I like the shocks. These things are amazing. My butt did get a little sore, but I was on here for a lot of hours. So now I'm home. I hope you've enjoyed the video.